Good day, good day. How are you? I'm good. Mr. Tabo Maupa again, the facilitator in security courses. I'm back again, as I promised you in my last installment when I was doing grade E module one, which was uh, personal hygiene and general appearance. I urged you to stay tuned because I was going to bring all the other modules that are coming through. Today we're going to do module two, grade E still, which is titled Basic Occupational Safety. Basic occupational safety simply means safety in the workplace or safety in any environment where we are working or doing anything, but our safety is ensured because of certain measures that have been put in place. Right. Basic occupational safety is mainly based on things like this. I think all of us, when we see this sign, something at the back of your mind just tell you, I think it's what I'm thinking. Or is it what I'm thinking? Is it a fire extinguisher? Yes, it is. They are trying to inform you that there is a fire extinguisher near that sign or next to that sign. Usually they put it on top and then they put the extinction, the real extinction underneath the sign. This is a symbolic safety sign, meaning there is a fire extinction located near or under this sign. We call them fire information signs. One typical example of practicing safety in the workplace. Then I come to the second one. This is a sign of an escape room. Some know, some don't know. Some they think maybe it's a gym or why it's a, it's a marathon place or a race place. No. If you are in any building and you see this sign and there is an emergency, it means there is an escape route in case of emergency. Usually it works hand in hand with this sign. Either it's on top showing you the direction of the escape route or it will be like this at the bottom. Still showing you the direction of the escape route meaning you go this way. If you want to get an escape route you can run this way. Obviously you're going to get an escape route. These we call them general information signs which gives you direction of travel or they give you first aid kits or they give you names of towns, libraries, CBDs, marketplaces and so on. They all bear the same class of signs, which is general information sign. Right. As a grade E student, on completion of this module, this is what you are expected to be able to do with regard to symbolic safety signs. Number one, you must be able to list the three parts of safety signs because these signs are different. I think you saw the examples that I was just showing you now. Some are green, some are red, but we're going to come to that and explain later. So you must be able to list the three parts of safety sign, which means the three parts that makes these uh, signs differ. Since some are red, some are green, some are yellow, some are blue, and so on. Right. Uh, aim number two. You must be able to list the various categories of which we have got five categories of symbolic safety signs. Aim number three. You must be able to identify. When you see it, you can identify and categorize specific symbolic signs. And lastly, you must be able to list the dangers of smoking in non-smoking areas. What are non-smoking areas? I give you a typical example again. Places like a filling station or a gas station or a garage which is selling petrol. We talk of Shell, BP, Engine, Sassol and so forth. Any place like that, when you reach there, you find a lot of no-smoking signs in the form of symbolic safety signs which inform you that you can't smoke there. Why? Because they are selling flammable liquids. When they catch fire, you know, I mean, spillage area, if maybe you are dealing with fire, if it reaches where there was paraffin or petrol, it gets worse. 
So if you smoke on a garage and your uh, fire or the matches or the cigarette butt get in, uh, in contact with the fuel, what happens? Number one, they can be a fire. Number two, they can be an explosion. Or number three, they can be a container action of materials. So you must be able to list all those things. Which is the dangers of smoking in non-smoking areas. Right. Let's come now to uh, definition of a symbolic safety sign or what it is, right? A symbolic safety sign is simply a universally accepted picture or pictogram, right? Which informs a person of a dangerous situation that may be present on a premises. Or it can be informing you of a place that you want to go. It can be informing you of a toilet. It can be informing you of an escape route. It can be informing you about a staircase, where you are going, the stairs. And so all those are symbolic safety signs. Right. The reason why they did symbolic safety signs is because no matter which country you come from, no matter what language you speak, no matter the level of literacy that you have, but you can still be able to understand the meaning of a particular notice in the form of a sign. And that is true. Sometimes you just see a sign, it's not written what it means. Your mind tells you what it means, no matter what language you're speaking, no matter you're from Africa, Asia, Russia, whatever, America, Britain, Brazil, Mexico, but when you see the sign, it means the same thing to somebody who doesn't speak your language, but you still comply to the sign the same, which means your mind told you the meaning of it. You understand what I'm saying? Right. A symbolic safety sign consists of three parts. That's what makes it. The shape of the sign, number one. Two, the color of the sign. Three, the picture which is inside the sign. Because if you look at the examples that I was showing you, one got an extinguisher in, which is red. One has got a person running inside, which is, uh, that person is white, but background is green. Then there is an arrow, which is also white, and the background is green. That's how they differ, because of the shape, the color of the, of the sign, and the picture inside the sign. Right. Let's come now to the categories. You remember under the aims they say you must be able to list the three parts of symbolic safety sign, which is shape, color, picture. And then aim number two, you must be able to list the various categories of symbolic safety sign. Let's come now to the various categories. Safety signs have been divided into five, five different categories or five different types, right? Each category has got a different meaning of its own. We start now with number one, general information. A general information sign, it can inform you either for a direction or for the toilets or first aid kits, assembly points, and so on. I am just giving a few typical examples. Then number two, we've got fire information signs, which is the same one. It's falling under that category, the one I showed you the first time I was opening this module. Uh, that one is used so that it can give you information about the location and availability of firefighting equipment in that area where you are. So whenever you see that sign, you must make sure that there is firefighting equipment nearby. In case there's a fire, just run towards that sign. I'm sure you're going to get one firefighting equipment there. Then number three, we've got warning information signs. These, they've got like a relationship with some of the traffic uh, signs that we see out there. They warn you of a danger that might exist in that area or on that side. And you have to be very careful of warning signs so that you avoid endangering yourself while you are on patrol. If we go to the malls, there's people mopping, cleaning the mall in the morning. They display a sign, slippery or wet floor. 
Do we walk through it or do we bypass it? We bypass, we look for an alternative road, avoiding that place where you see that sign displayed. Why? We are avoiding accidents. That's a warning sign, which is the third category. Number four, category four, we got what they call prohibitory warning signs or prohibitory information, symbolic safety signs. They actually prohibit you from doing certain actions in certain areas. For example, no smoking. Any office that you go, if they are professional, you find a, a no smoking sign in the reception, you find the no smoking sign in the hallways, even in the offices of certain individuals, they've got a no smoking sign, which means it's a no smoking zone. Some places they've got also no alcohol. They put a bottle inside that circle sign and cross it, which means this thing is prohibited. No guns, no weapons. Those are what we call prohibitory. They actually don't allow you to do certain things in those areas where you see that sign. Then lastly, we've got mandatory. Mandatory, it's a circle shape with a blue background and a white picture. I give you something that anybody can relate to. We're just coming out of the corona uh, pandemic where a lot of people passed on, may their souls rest in peace. That's when many people started recognizing and identifying the mask uh, symbolic safety sign. Because wherever you go, if it's public transport, you must be mask compliant. Shops, mask compliant. Right? Offices, mask compliant. Wherever you go, that is a typical example of a mandatory symbolic safety sign. And wherever you see a symbolic safety sign which is which has got a blue background, circle shape, and a white picture, it means it's compulsory. That's why they call it mandatory. Mandatory, it means it encompasses all and sundry, everybody. Even the president is to comply. A beggar is to comply. Middle class is to comply. And nobody has to comply. Because you, most of the time, or usually, it's about your safety, either for your health or for your safety to avoid accidents. That is why mandatory is mainly uh, involved with uh, safety gear. Like those ones, mask, it was for safety so that you cannot contract corona. Those are the five examples or five categories or five types of symbolic safety signs. Number one, general information. The shape is square shape, white border, green background, and a white picture. Number two, it's fire information, symbolic safety sign, which is square shape also, white background, and a red picture, and a red border. The third one is warning sign which is triangular in shape, just like the road traffic ones, triangular in shape, black border, yellow background, and a black picture. Then we have pro prohibitory. Prohibitory, it's simply circle shape, and it's got a, a red background and a black picture. Then there is a cross crossing that's, that uh, circle, which means that thing inside the picture is not allowed in that area. Lastly, then we have mandatory. Mandatory is a circle in shape, blue background, and a white picture. Those are your five categories. Then we go now to the last point under the aims, which said you must be able to list the dangers of smoking in non-smoking areas. They are trying to talk about areas like a garage. If you reach any garage or gas station, or service station, or filling station, whatever you call it. There's a lot of no smoking signs in the form of symbolic safety signs there. So that to warn the drivers and anybody who is visiting that garage that you are not supposed to smoke. The reason why they don't want us to smoke at gas stations, or garages, or petrol stations, or filling stations, is because fire and flammable liquids are enemies. If you smoke there and there's a mistake, your matches, or your fire, or your cigarette butt, gets in contact with the flammable liquids. What do you think is going to happen? Number one, there can be fire and the whole garage is burnt. Two, there can be explosion because the fuel is contained in tanks underneath 
And when one catches fire, it can explode. Or there will be a container action of materials, one tank after the other. So the dangers of smoking in non-smoking areas are simply number one, fire, two, explosions, three, container action of materials. We are done with module two, which is basic occupational safety. Right. As usual, when I finish a module, I give you the questioning that is there in the test that you will be writing after each and every module. Under basic occupational safety, we've got three questions. Question one, list three parts of safety signs. The answers are number one, shape, two, color, three, picture. Simple. Question two says, list five categories of safety signs, which is number one, general information, two, fire information, three, warning information, four prohibitory information, five mandatory information, five marks. The last question, which is question three, list three dangers of smoking in non-smoking areas. Number one, fire, two, explosions, three, container action of materials. Simple, that is your module two, Great E, basic occupational safety. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned. I'm coming with the next module, which is module three, basic public relations. You're going to enjoy it. Trust me. Thank you. Watch.